Hello everyone and welcome to Camtai and May Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a baby bonnet with the popcorn stitch. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. We're going to start off with our yarn. It's just a simple category 3 yarn. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that you can see. And I have a 4 millimeter hook. Make sure that your baby yarn is safe for babies. Um, you want to have uh, a specific yarn. They do make a specific yarn for babies, so you want to uh, work that out. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to use a regular Category 3 Red Heart yarn and a 4 millimeter hook. So I'm going to make my magic circle. If you do not want to make a magic circle, you can chain 3 and then go ahead and um, slip into the first chain of that chain five. I don't know why I said chain three, but it's a chain five. But anyway, so now I'm going to go ahead and make 10 double crochets into this magic circle. I don't know where I picked this yarn up, but I'm not liking it. So I will be back with my 10 double crochets. So we have the 10 double crochets here. Go ahead and slip stitch into that first double crochet of the row. And chain two. No, chain three, sorry. Chain three. I didn't chain two, three, but chain three. Go into your first stitch with two double crochets. I'm sorry about this yarn, but I um, just grabbed it because I didn't. I think I thought the white was just a little too much for the camera, so I switched it to a red. So I'm doing um, two double crochets into each stitch around. This is going to give you 20 double crochets at the end of the round. So I'm going to continue on, and I will meet you back at the end. So now we have our 20 double crochets going across. Go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch of your row. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I always slip stitch into the first row. Chain three, again, chain three, not just two. Go into your next stitch with a double crochet. You're gonna put two double crochets into your first stitch. Into your next stitch, you will put one double crochet. In the next stitch you will put two double crochet so that will be your pattern all the way around we are now increasing by 10 so at the end of the row you will have 30 double crochets going around so two in your first one in your second stitch two in the second stitch one in the next stitch and so on and I'll be back Okay, so now we are at the end of round three and headed into round four. You should have 30 double crochets going around because now we're increasing um, so that the hat will be big enough for the little one. So go ahead and slip stitch into the first chain, into the first double crochet from the previous row. Go ahead and chain three. I'm going to keep saying chain three. It's not two, it's three. And then go into your first stitch with a double crochet and another double crochet into the same stitch. Then in your next stitch is a double crochet and the next one is another double crochet. So you will do two double crochets in your first stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, another double crochet in the next stitch and then go back to your two double crochet in the next stitch this is increasing your rows so by the end of your row you should have 40 double crochets so i'm going to keep going around with this pattern and i will meet you at the other end okay so now we're going into row five i've already chained three and did my slip stitch and now I'm back to where I need to be.
So I just want to show you how we're going to close up this gap here because I want to go into my stitch marker. And you know how you go from using, from slip stitching to uh, your stitch marker, it tends to leave a bit of a gap. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Instead of doing two double crochets in this first stitch, we're going to go backwards. So we're going to put one double crochet into the first three stitches. And in that fourth stitch, we will put four double crochets. The reason I'm doing it this way is so that at the end of the row, I will have two double crochets left to put in and it will close up that gap because I want to begin using my stitch marker. So one double crochet in the first stitch, uh, another double crochet in your second stitch, one double crochet in your third stitch and then two double crochets in the final and fourth stitch and when you get to the end you should have two more double crochets left so i will meet you there at that position okay so i have a few more double crochets here left over i think i have three more so i'm going to make these last three double crochets in here And this is the last double crochet here. So now we're at the point where we're at our very last double crochet, I apologize. And we put those two double crochets in that last one right there. So now you just immediately go right into your next stitch with your next, uh, for your next row. Where I'm at right now is row six. So after I made those last two double crochets there, I immediately went into the first double crochet from the previous row. So now I'm going to grab a stitch marker and go ahead and put those, put a stitch marker here to mark it as my first stitch. As you go around, that gap will get even uh, 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 closed a little bit more, even more, and you won't even notice it. So go ahead. I've well, already made, um, I think think I made two double crochets here. No, I need to put my stitch marker in. So I'm going to make another double crochet and then add the stitch marker in there and continue on. So we're going into round six now and it's basically just a straight double crochet all the way around for this stitch here. I am putting my stitch marker into the first stitch of that row for row six and which is doing a simple double crochet all the way around one double crochet into each stitch and at the end of your row you should still have 50 double crochets and I'll meet you back there. All right so now we have our 50 double crochets I just have one more double crochet to make for that row we stop increasing at row five um, every baby's head is different so if your baby's head is a little bit bigger or wider or longer of course you're going to change up the stitches but this is a pretty standard size for newborn I think I have newborn up to six months um, it should fit just fine um, so we're going to continue on and we're going to add a slip stitch to here, slip marker to here. So now as we go up, we're going to make one more row of these double crochet. However, you're not going to go all the way around. You're going to stop at the, I think I put it at the, um, 46 stitch or something like that I think I did I would have to count it I'll let you know um, when we get there but once I figured out where I want to stop at I go ahead and put in my stitch marker I'm going to put a purple one here so that we know the difference the pink ones in the first stitch of the row and the purple ones in the last stitch of the row so I'm going to go around with my double crochets. I'm going to stop at this purple and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Now I am at where my purple stitch marker is. I'm going to take that out and put my last double crochet into that space. 
and I did put that stitch marker in the 46th place. This, um, the purple stitch marker, I had it in the 46th space, space, sorry. So I'm going to chain three and turn my work. Now I finally decide I want to do it right and chain three. Ha! Huh. So chain three, turn your work, turn it right side in. So turn it right side out, wrong side out and continue on. If your chain starts with, if your three chain starts as a double crochet, of course you skip that chain and go into the next chain. So you're going to double crochet all the way around until you get to your purple stitch marker. There's no increasing, no chaining, just a straight up um, double crochet going all the way around. So when I get to that point, when I get back to where my pink stitch marker is, we'll continue on. We'll go into making our popcorn stitch. Okay, so now we're back. I'm going to go ahead and chain three and turn my work, but I'm going to turn it right side out. Um, I did my two rows after that row of double crochet, so you should have seven rows by the time you start this. We're on eight, the eighth row, I'm sorry. So now we're going to do our popcorn stitch, chain three. I'm going to count my chain three as a double crochet. So if you do that, go ahead and skip that first chain. And we're going to double crochet across 10 times. That includes the chain stitch. So that chain at the end, at the beginning, that three chain counts as your double crochet. So continue across until you have 10 double crochets across. The popcorn stitch is pretty simple. Um, it kind of looks like the bobble stitch, but the way that you make it is different from how you make the bobble stitch. So we're going to continue here, and I'm almost at my 10. So now that is 10 double crochets across, go into your next stitch with a double crochet. We're doing the popcorn stitch now. Go into the same stitch with another double crochet. We're going to put four double crochets into this same stitch. This is three. And this is four. So now what you do is you're going to pull your loop up a little bit, pull your, your, your hook out, go into your first double crochet of that cluster, grab that hook, grab the hoop in the back. And I always use my middle finger to push it so, so that I can pull my loop through. There's no chaining. After you, When you pull your loop through, you will chain one. And there's your popcorn stitch right there. So we're going to do it again. Yarn over. And go into your next stitch with your double crochet. And we're going to make 10 double crochets going across again. So I'm going to speed up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going in with my bobble stitch. I did my 10 double crochets. Now I'm going in with that. Remember, when you do your bobble stitch, your bobble stitch, I mean your popcorn stitch, make sure you're putting three double crochets into that one uh, double crochet from the previous row. Um, that's going to help for your popcorn stitch to poke out more. You can make it smaller if you want. So go into that first uh, double crochet of the cluster. Use your finger to push it out and pull through and chain one. And just keep doing that across. Do another 10 and then add another popcorn stitch to that. And I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. 
So I should have put one bobble stitch in between this right here, but I didn't. Um, but you do that. Make sure you put after your 10, make sure you put your last bobble stitch in there. That way you can have four bobble stitches going around. So I'm going to continue on and we're going to the next round. Now we're going to chain three and then turn our work. You can flip it um, wrong side out to get better comfort. But I've chained three. I'm going to turn my work and go ahead and flip it um, wrong side out so I can continue on. So in this step here, we're going to make less double crochets because we don't. I don't want to get too close to that other popcorn stitch. This is, step is completely up to you. You can make another row of double crochets, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a row of double crochets and then go ahead and continue with my bobble stitch on the other side. I'm doing it like this because I want my bobble stitches to be on the other side. All of my bobble stitches to be, I keep saying bobble stitches, it's popcorn stitch, forgive me. My brain is a bit fried, but the popcorn stitch. So you can, um, I do it like this so that I can have all of my popcorn stitches uh, in the same way on the same side I don't want some on the inside and then some on the outside so I'm going to continue around with these double crochet in a moment I'm going to show you where you put your stitch marker for that um, when you're doing your double crochet where you put your stitch um, over at the popcorn stitch oh my brain okay so I'm getting closer to that popcorn stitch so right here where you see that it looks like a stitch but it really is not a stitch it's just more um that's the piece of the chain that you made when you made your popcorn stitch but right next to it is a stitch there right at the back of it there's a stitch there that's where you put your double crochet mm. Um, it looks like a little bar. It's not really a stitch, but it's what's hanging in the back of your popcorn stitch. Once you make your, once you chain through, once you slip through that part right there is where you want to put your double crochet in there. So continue on with your double crochets going all the way around and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, so now we're back at the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and flip it right side out so we can make another row of our popcorn stitch. So as you can see here, it's turning out really nice. I have those one double crochets, that row of double crochets after the um, popcorn stitch. And now we have 11 rows so far. So I'm going to do one more row just so I can show you what that popcorn stitch looks like. And with the hat, it's going to be about 12 rows by the time you're done. So we're going to continue across and now I'm going to set my popcorn stitches in a different area. So instead of me going out 10 stitches, I'm going to go out. I think I went in at about six uh, double crochets and then I made a popcorn stitch. Then I did the popcorn stitch. So go ahead and begin. I think I already have one here. I have two stitches, three in here because my chain counts as a double crochet. I'm going to come across a few more stitches here. Now I'm doing the popcorn stitch. Remember you want to add four double crochets to that same stitch i went in six double crochets and now i am doing the popcorn stitch in the seventh double crochet so i made my four i'm going to pull my loop up to make it a little bit bigger go into that first double crochet of the cluster use your finger to push it out the way and pull through and chain one and just do that again this time I'm going to cross past that popcorn stitch I'm going to do 12 double crochets and then I'll do a popcorn stitch in the 13th double crochet so I'm going to speed this up so we can get there faster
Okay, so we're getting closer to where I'm making that bubble stitch. I am making that now. Remember to put your four double crochets into that one stitch and then proceed on from there. So I think this is number three. We have one more stitch to go, one more double crochet to put into that cluster there. And then pull your loop up a little bit to make it bigger. Put your hook into that first double crochet of your cluster. Go ahead and grab that loop and push it right on through. And slip it through just like you're making a, a slip stitch. It's a slip stitch and then chain one. So I'll continue doing the same thing. I'm going to add another 12 double crochets here. I'm going to do that off camera and I will meet you back at the end. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. We have those pretty popcorn stitches there. Again, you don't have to make four double crochets in there. You can put three or two, but I like the four because it, it protrudes a little bit better. So we did a row first, started off with our rows of double crochet increasing. Then we went into our bobble stitch. Now you can start your bobble stitches up a little higher if you want to. That's completely up to you. I just wanted you to see at least how the hat takes form and how you add your um popcorn stitch to this hat so i want to go ahead and continue and we're going to start working on the straps for the sides of your of this baby bonnet so when i come back we're going to actually we're going to do a row of single crochets going around you know how i am if you've been a subscriber of mine for a while you know that i like to top it off with some single crochets to make it look a little neater so we're going to go into doing that and just make some simple single crochets going around when you start off on your corners we're going to start off this corner here i'm going to put three single crochets into this first double crochet row and the reason i'm doing that is so that we can go around a lot smoother as we go around the project and end off with a nice a nice smooth finish um, and also there's a reason for that as well for when you're adding the straps on there. So if I can get this in here, we can continue. So I'm going to make my last two single crochets right here in this double crochet. Well, I guess I already had two up there. <laughs> and then the next one you put one. Your next one you're going to put two single crochets right in that row there you can go into the chain stitch if you want to i'm just going right into the holes that are made when you make your chain three so your first holes will have three your second hole will have one your next holes will have two your next row will have one um, so now we're coming to the corner and I'm just going to take and put two double crochets here in this last row and then another two double crochets as I'm going down the um, edge of this. This is the top of the hat I'm making my way into. So you want to put two double crochets in that corner to make sure that it goes around better. It's a lot a smooth transition going around. So continue on making your single crochets going all the way around. Remember to put two single crochets in the corner section of the row and then make sure you're putting three double crochets in the corner in the last double crochet of the row. So when you get to the corner, you will put three double crochets in that row to finish it off. Go around the bottom of the hat and then just finish it off from there. And when I'm done, I will meet you at the end. All right, I'm at the end of the row. I went all the way around with my single crochets. So now I'm going to finish this off here with these final double crochets. And now we're back into that corner. You want to put three double crochets into the corner where I'm slip stitching here. I guess I passed that part. But remember, in your corner, you want to put three double crochets. So at the end, when you get back to your first stitch, back to the beginning, make your slip knot and go ahead and cut off your string, cut off your yarn. I'm going to finish up and continue uh, weaving in my ends and I'll be back. 
okay, so we're back. We're at the end. And I went ahead and um, did all of my ends in and weaved in all of my ends. And isn't it a pretty hat? You have your bobble stitches poking out there. So now we're going to work on the straps for the front of our project. Okay, so now we're at the corner. This is where we're going to put our straps. And the other reason that we put our three double crochet here is so that we can go into that second stitch of our three single crochets. I said double crochets, I meant single. Go ahead and grab your yarn and attach your yarn on there. And go ahead and begin making your chain. So I made a chain of 30, I think it was. And I just, just did a standard chain of 30 so let me work this chain and i'll be back okay so i have my chains here i did 31 i think it was and now we're going to go ahead and i'm going to crochet in that third loop in the back so in the front of your stitch you have your two stitches and if you turn your chain around you'll see a little bump in the back you can crochet into that bump so I'm going to crochet into that bump. If you prefer to do it the regular way, um, going straight through the stitches after you make your chain, you're more than welcome to do that. When I'm done with it, I'm going to show you the difference between the two and how they look. Um, I like this look here. It's a lot cleaner. I have actually decided to start working in this back loop, this third bump in the back of the chain stitch itself. Um, I think that it comes out a lot cleaner. So um, continue making those single crochets into that back loop. It can be a bit tedious depending on how small, big or small the stitch is. Um, but again, you don't have to do it this way. So I'm going to continue on and when I come back, I will have a comparison of the two. Okay, so we are done and I have both straps on here. Um, I love how this popcorn stitch came out. It came out really cute. Um, you can put them all over your project or just in certain spaces, but I think it's so cute. And I have my single crochet going around the edges. So this is what the difference looks like. This is the this is the chain where I uh, single crocheted in the back loop, and this is just a regular chain where I single crocheted in the regular loop. Not too much of a difference, but I think the one in the back loop is a lot cleaner, um, and it stretches a little bit better than the one um, with the regular uh, single crochet. But again, it's completely up to you how you want to do that. Um, I think it came out really great. Naturally, it's going to curl up. Your stitch is going to curl up just a little bit, but that's not a big deal because these straps are the straps that you tie to hold on your little one's head. So um, I'm going to continue. Well, we're actually done with this tutorial. I want to thank you for watching the tutorial on today. I hope you got a good uh, lesson out of it and learned how to make the popcorn stitch. So continue making this stitch. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram at Cam Thai Handmade Crochet. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Bye-bye.